free weights and barbell section of any Globo gym is the most awkward space anywhere in the world. Everybody's trying to look better than they actually do while pretending that they know exactly what they're doing and why they're doing it, all while trying to nonchalantly check out and evaluate everybody else within 50 square feet. Good workout though, glad I got up. Speed up, speed up, speed up. Hey, what's up? Joel and Lucy, if I ever catch you guys doing that, I'm sure by the time you guys are actually driving age, you'll have some kind of microphone implant with voice recognition and holograms on the dashboard and stuff. All right, quick start to the morning already. It's about 10 or 10.30 or so. Getting ready to do a live success story call with a mental tennis mastery student down in Mexico. He's the one I talked to yesterday. I think his story is going to be really, really awesome. So looking forward to chatting with him. So I had a long text conversation this morning with a local video editor who saw the vlog uh, just earlier this morning, the one that I published that showed my Monday. And he and I have worked together many times before and after seeing that we're looking for some help, it looks like we'll probably start up a uh, working relationship again with him editing some of our vlog footage. Uh, so that should be helpful. A lot of people in general recently have been messaging me and telling me they appreciate what I've been doing with this uh, vlog experiment and uh, really appreciate the support all of you have given me regarding it. Thank you so much for that. Don't know what I'm gonna do yet as far as continuing or not. Kirby was asking me about it this morning. Allison and I actually were talking about it over the weekend. I don't think I wanna continue doing daily. It's a, it's a big time commitment. Not so much in like the amount of time, but it, it takes away my ability to do two other things as frequently as I would like, and that is work out and sleep. It just kind of puts pressure on both of those things, which uh, both of those things are really important to me. The vlog has been great. And I'm super, super happy that I did it. It's been very, very worthwhile. I've learned a tremendous amount. Maybe I'll, I'll do like a couple per week or, or something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not sure yet, but, but we'll see. But this is the last, uh, last week in the month of August. Seems crazy that I've already been through most of the month and we're coming up on the end of a challenge to myself. Your new chair? No, I'm, I'm matting this down oh. so that I can fit more string in here. Should I like, just take a nap in there? Probably good. It's not, not that bad. It's got like a trampoline. <laughs> That call with the mental tennis mastery student was really, really unbelievable. The level of feedback, just how unbelievably positive uh, he was, and the, the level of endorsement that he just gave us is incredible. It's made a massive, massive difference for him in tennis, in life, in all kinds of different areas. That's exactly what we wanted. And if we can just get one or two more like that, then I'll feel really, really confident going into our promotion of Mental Tennis Mastery too. So honestly, the, the st strongest testimonial I've ever seen anywhere for any product, <laughs> uh, online or TV or, or whatever. As, as always, super grateful to be able to run a business and do it in a way that actually serves people and benefits, truly benefits both parties. I mean, it, I, I wouldn't want it any other way. In putting out these, these programs and putting out these services, there's always just that little, you know, that little twinge of doubt, that little bit of uncertainty, and you just don't know until the content gets in the hands of people and they actually apply it and you find out what the results are. And so hearing results like that uh, it's really, really gratifying and helps me feel good about what we're doing and also makes it much easier for me in the marketing process, the promotional process, to really push what we're doing and, and know that it is really powerful stuff. It makes all the difference in the world and people can feel that 
And you, you know that, just thinking about the various sales pitches that you're bombarded with constantly on a daily basis, you just have a sixth sense about what feels authentic and what feels legit and what does not. And that's such a huge, huge differentiator when it comes to running a successful promotion. So I, I'm so, so happy that we got the, the feedback that we just did. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos right now. I, I like to stay on top of a couple different creators on YouTube uh, just for my own ideas and inspiration and just because I, I love content. Uh, so I'm gonna take a little break, uh, watch a few videos and Honestly, I'm not sure I'm going to work on this afternoon after that. We'll see. Good YouTube break. Now I'm going to try calling a student that came to one of our clinics back in March. I've just kind of been curious about how he's doing, and I'm going to see if I can get a hold of him on the phone real quick. All right, I went to voicemail, but I left a message. Hopefully, he calls me back. So this is a guy that did one of our clinics in Indian Wells, California this past March, and during the kind of go-around people introducing themselves, told the group that he had been diagnosed with Parkinson's, and tennis was kind of an experiment for him to try to reverse his symptoms. If I remember correctly, it was several months ago, but uh, army veteran and just seemed like a really incredible guy. And he actually just came up in our random office conversations recently. So uh, I hope he calls me back. I'm curious to see, see how he's doing. It's a matter, never seen anybody drive with a bag of garbage on their hood before. I thought about just like, Breaking really hard. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I saved it. Oh my god. <laughs> huh.